Hi, I'm here with uh, Paul from Ainsley Bullion. And uh, I, I was actually quite interested in talking to you because I heard that you are um, you have an initiative that you've digitized gold. Yeah. So I just wanted to see if you could tell, tell me a bit about and the subscribers a bit about that. Yeah, sure. Um, so we launched it in February of this year. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, so there's a gold standard and silver standard token. So AUS and AGS, uh, both are 100% backed by physical bullion that is uh, already vaulted in, in Reserve Vault in Brisbane uh, and, um, and basically uh, available for sale straight away. So uh, you can buy it through Ainsley Wealth uh, or through uh, CoinSpot or on the Bamboo uh, microinvestment app. So they're, they're essentially, it's an ERC20 token um, mm -hmm. and uh, all the metal is held in a completely separate entity that's um, completely clean, so it's only assets are the metal, it's only liabilities are the tokens, uh, and uh, that's all audited by BDO, it's insured by the world's leading insurer. Uh, so you've got um, complete visibility in terms of uh, all the bars down to the serial number of every bar that backs this up, linked with the blockchain, obviously gives a, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that, that under, uh, the distributed ledger. Uh, of, of all the tokens, so you always know that that equals this, you've got complete visibility of that, um, and then you've got, I guess, on top of that, BDO verifying that that's there, down to the serial number, uh, and then those tokens are available for, for trade freely. Okay. Um, I find it quite interesting because you have, on one side, you have gold, which is something that's very stable and that's very, um, has been around for millennia, and then you're going into blockchain, mm -hmm. which is something that, I mean, the it's something very new, very digital. So why, why, what did you, what attracted you to, to doing this on the blockchain? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, well, the blockchain um, basically allows peer-to-peer -peer transactions mm -hmm. um, in a trustless way, uh, and so you know, and, and essentially has a lot of the same att attributes as, as gold and silver anyway. And, um, mm -hmm. But what this token does is, a, is, is brings that 5,000 years of, of monetary asset history of, of gold and silver. Um, but can be somewhat clunky for some people in terms of, you know, uh, delivery and storage and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and then it combines it with the, the new technology, which is blockchain, mm -hmm. that then allows people to uh, easily easily transfer it, easily um, secure it, cost effectively buy it. Uh, so it, by combining the two, it actually brings them beautifully together, um, and and then provides, I guess, in that broader crypto space that you were talking about some stability mm -hmm. so you actually have uh, this, this crypto token that's that's backed by a real monetary asset that has stability mm -hmm. um, and has a proven you know uh, the preservation of wealth over all the years so people can can trade between the two so take your profits put it into somewhere stable or, or put some there because you've got the speculative one on the side so it works well in the space and it works well using the technology uh, as well okay. and it's a way to create trust, right? Like I think that's the hard part about the blockchain and the crypto. So if you're working with gold, you're actually creating a bit of trust too? Yeah, or yeah, uh, how, how are you creating that, that trust? And that, that's the important thing. Mm. Okay. There's other gold tokens out there. Mm -hmm. um, so, but they're either, you know, in a, let's nicely say it, a, a, a light regulatory space, mm -hmm. um, or uh, it's a startup, or they might even be an ICO just still raising funds to buy the very metal that you're supposedly investing in. Um, so, so trust is is everything. Um, right. There's there's really there's we, we were the first in the world to have something that was um, domiciled in high regulatory uh, environment of Australia and geopolitically safe Australia. So it's stored here. It's 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 produced here um, by a 45 year old bullion dealer, not some startup, um, independent of any government involvement or financial institution involvement, mm -hmm. um, and 100 percent backed, already vaulted audited by BDO, a well-recognised um, assurance firm and, and fully insured by the world's leading insurer. So in terms of that trust, because you know, the token's useless if the, if the right. metal's not there, right? Okay. So, and I guess also that, that um, transparency. So at any time, anyone mm -hmm. can interrogate the blockchain to see that the token's there. They mm -hmm. can interrogate the database that shows every bar, every serial number, which safe it's in and BDO saying yes it's there um, and hasn't been moved. When you combine all of that it's, it's, it makes it pretty rock solid um, and, and it really is a world first in terms of having all of that and being openly traded on, on an exchange so it's on CoinSpot yeah. um, so you can buy gold and silver 24-7 um, at 
at the sort of rates that normally people that buy much larger amounts can can get. So it makes it very accessible to yeah. you know, anyone. You buy five cents of it if you want to. So it's um, that at a, at, a, at a rate that would normally right. come for five million dollars. So. Yeah, it's quite interesting that you could actually buy whatever amount you actually wanted. Yeah, well, each, each to token is one gram. Right. And, and each token goes to four decimal places, so you can literally you know, buy a thousandth of a, of a gram mm -hmm. um, and, and at, at a very cost-effective rate. Right. So, yeah. And why, why do you think people should be buying gold right now? Why should they be buying gold yeah. right now? Um, look, I think um, the, the global economic setup that we have right now um, you know, so often the word unprecedented is used mm -hmm. um, because it really is. You know, the, the GFC was just a wake up. Um, GFC was, a, a, was a, essentially a debt borne crisis and all we've done since then is literally add another 50 trillion of, of debt to the, you know, so we're uh, and, and stimulated or, or, or tried to pump up this, this economy with all this freshly printed money. Okay, so, so you've got all this freshly printed money coming in trying to expand something that's really you know, terminal stage, as opposed to real money, gold and silver, um, that you just simply cannot print at will. Okay, that that's why it has intrinsic values because it's it's hard to produce, it's hard uh, hard to uh, to to get there. So it's um so I think you know we're very quickly getting towards that terminal stage of this credit cycle, um, and when that happens, given the amount of stimulus that's gone at it, it's going to be a fairly nasty one, um, and and. For 5,000 years, gold and silver have, have, have been there to, to protect you. So um, I, I, I don't think there's been a time in history more important to own it than now. So what are the use cases for the token? The use cases? Yeah. I guess predominantly this is about um, you know, having money and having, mm -hmm. having gold and silver just in a, a different form of, of storage. Yeah. Um, so the use case is, is predominantly wealth preservation, preservation. And, and, okay. and growth. But the beauty of it is, because of that transferability, it doesn't matter whether you're in, in um, you know, Canberra or Kazakhstan, you can literally send that to, say, Ainsley Wealth and swap it for cash or swap it for platinum or silver or gold or whatever you might do, because it is money, okay? You can spend it just like any other money. Um, so in that case, it's got a use case as a medium of exchange, and mm -hmm. it's got a use case there as, as that preservation of wealth, that safe haven as well. Where would uh, subscribers be able to take a look at this if they were interested? Yeah, sure. So um, uh, the gold and silver standard tokens, um, literally goldsilverstandard.com mm -hmm. is, is, is the website there. Uh, if you want to transact in it, uh, you can go to ainsleywealth.com.au or Coinspot or, or Bamboo. Thank you very much. Pleasure.